Hello everyone! Today I am in Yanina, the main city of the Epiros region of northwestern Greece. A very historic place that I will spend an afternoon checking out. First we're gonna go see the castle where Ali Pasha is buried, at least most of him, minus his head. More on that when we get there. And also take a stroll along the lake here and visit an unnamed island which is also very significant for the history of this area. <laughs> All right, so it looks like you can just walk in and it's not a completely closed off area. There's actually buildings and houses it looks like on the inside of these walls too. So even though on the outside you just see the fortification, the old wall, like of course many cities had back in the Byzantine times, but here you can just walk through the entrance of the wall and be on the inside and see some more of the city that still exists as a city today. It's kind of cool how here within the old Byzantine walls you have the streets that are lined with a lot of these walls that kind of look like they are built from the same material and at the same time. So let's go walk up to the Ichkale. This was recommended to me by a friend of mine who actually went to university here in Yanina who told me that I absolutely have to come and see this right here. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so when you get up to the gate here, you can just walk right in. And as you can see, there's some pretty nice views as you walk into here. And I think once we get up to the top there, there should be a really nice open view because we are by the lake. So, and it looks like it's a pretty clear day today. Wow, so that's that's pretty crazy that the tomb of Ali Pasha is right there under this, uh, I mean it look, kind of looks like a cage now but they kind of put an iron dome over it and his body, his decapitated body, is buried right there after being assassinated during the very tumultuous time that the 1820s was in this area because even though he was an Ottoman leader, he was a regional Ottoman leader, he was at odds quite often with the people that were higher up than him. They eventually had deemed him to be a rebel and so they had sent people to go and assassinate him and well, they succeeded.
So the area up here on the Acropolis of the Old Castle is free and open to the public and there's a lot of people out and about today because it's a nice spring day and it's also a Sunday and it's May Day so a lot of people are out on holiday with their families up here enjoying the nice day. But in order to get inside some of the places here you do have to buy a ticket so if you go to the Byzantine Museum right here you can get a ticket for six euros and that gets you access to the Byzantine Museum the mosque right here, which on the outside of it there is Ali Pasha's tomb. And then it also gets you access to the silversmithing museum right here, which is something that is also cool to see, to learn a little more about another important part of Yanina's history, because there is a long history of silversmithing here. And then you can also get a coffee or something to drink right here. And behind that there, there's the lake and then the mountains on the other side. But I'm not going to go there and have a drink right now because I am anxious to get on a boat and go and check out the No Name Island in the middle of the lake, which has a little more of the history that you learn about up here on the Acropolis here in the Ichkale. So let's go ahead and go and check that out before we get too hungry and have to go find something to eat. So for two euros, you get a quick boat ride to the no-name island in the lake here in Yanina. Quick and convenient boat ride. They go every couple of minutes from the shores on Yanina, right next to the old castle. So if you're checking out the historic sites around Ichkale and the castle, you'll very easily be able to find the boats that go over to the island. Here we are on the little island that has no name in the middle of the lake in Yanina. So when you're on it here, it looks like a regular old place. You wouldn't know that it's a little island on a lake because there's some houses here and some restaurants. So admission is three euros and you come into this little open area here which on a nice spring day like today is really nice to hang out at, get some fresh air, see the Revolutionary Museum which is right there that we just went inside and took a look at and then the Ali Pasha Museum is up here which we will go and look at here in a minute. But first I'll show you guys the view of the lake from here. Now the island here on Yanina's lake is a little bit closer to the other side of the lake from where the city of Yanina is. But it's still an island though because despite being close it's still detached from the rest of the mainland here. So this was Ali Pasha's death sentence by Sultan Mahmud II. Clearly, as you would imagine, due to the nature of the way that Ali Pasha died, as in that he was assassinated, he uh, was not looked at with high regard by Sultan Mahmoud II. So this is a whole, whole extended proclamation of why Sultan Mahmoud II thought Ali Pasha was bad and why he deserved to be killed. And you can read this proclamation here at the Ali Pasha Museum. So one little bit of relatively recent history 
in this area here at the Ali Pasha Museum is this cave that's right here, right behind where the other parts of the Ali Pasha Museum are. And this cave here, according to this plaque here, is one of the caves that people fled to during bombings in 1940, during World War II. Let's go ahead and get on a boat to head back to the town of Yanina and get something to eat. And I think that the weather is starting to slowly not cooperate with us anymore. Starting to feel a couple of raindrops. I've been told that rain happens often in Yanina. about a 10 to 15 minute ride between the city and the island so definitely worth the time and the couple of euros that it'll cost you to get there and back so now that I am back I'm going to walk just down the street a little bit here along the lake shore where there is a restaurant that I looked up that looked pretty good <laughs> And a little stroll along the lake here in Yanina after a nice meal at the Mirovolos restaurant, which is also here along the lakeshore. I'll leave a link down below to that restaurant in case you come to visit Yanina, which is something that I would recommend. I mean, you could spend one or two days here seeing what there is to see here. Yanina is a great city for seeing the main town of the Epiros region of northwestern Greece. A lot of great history to learn about here. It's nice to go and walk around the Acropolis of the old castle here in Yanina and take a boat ride out to the island here on the lake, which can basically be seen right behind me. You can see the island and a lot of what there is to see here in the historic part of Yanina. Thanks for joining me here along my travels. More places are coming up here on Global Nico, so make sure you have subscribed to this channel so that you don't miss all of those travel vlogs that are still to come. So thank you and take care and travel better.